Hello, and welcome to a video about performing simple searches in the Yellow County Archives and Historical Collections online database. We are going to begin by doing a keyword search in both collections. I'm going to type the word farm into the search box. And you can see that both the historical collection and the archives buttons are selected. And then I will click search. So you can see that we have 169 results for farm in the historical collection and 512 results in the archives collection. So we're going to start by looking at the results from the historical collection. There are 169 results. The word farm appears in some aspect of all of these 169 records. We can, refine, we can browse through these and just look to see what's in them, or we can refine some of our results by utilizing some of the functions on the left-hand side of our page. So we can look at specific dates. We can look at material type. We can look at the object name, or we can look at the technique for creating that object. So if we were just interested in photographs, or perhaps some documents, we could select one of these um, object names and refine. I can also deselect that refine and get back to our full 169 results. So after looking through some of the historical records, I might decide that I want to switch over to the search results that we found in the archives. I can do that over here on the left-hand side by simply selecting archives under switch database. And now we have our 512 results in the archives collection. There are still some refined functions in the archives collection, but slightly different from what we had on the historic museum side. So we could refine by creator, we could refine by the level of description, in the archives, we have hierarchical records. So fonts refers to the collection level record. File refers to folders that might be within those collections. And items are records for items that may be inside files that rest within collections. So again, it's hierarchical. Similar to the objects and the historical items, we can refine by date. We can also refine by dimension. So now that we've scrolled back up to the top of this page, I wanted to show you one example of the hierarchy of records. So if we go to page 34 of our results within archives, you can see that this particular collection that has sheriff coroner records has a hierarchy. So this is pulling a file, sheriff coroner general, county jail and prison farm. You can see here's where our farm reference comes from. I can also move up the hierarchy and look at the collection level record. So this particular file, again, Sheriff Coroner General, County Jail and Prison Farm, is actually part of this larger collection, Board of Supervisors Meeting Minutes and Backup Documents. So I can click on that, and then I can actually go to the collection level record that that file rests within or nests under. So I wanna go back to my search results, I'm gonna go back to page one and I wanna point out just a couple of things. So search history, if we click on search history, so this tab, search history, keeps track of all of the searches that we have run during this session on the database. So if we wanted to rerun any of our searches or if we wanted to clear the history, clear all of the searches out and start over, we can do that in this function. If we haven't performed any searching, this tab will not be highlighted and we won't be able to navigate to the search history page. If we go back to our results page and we want to look at record details, we can click on this tab and that will give us a more detailed account of a particular record. Instead of seeing something as a list, you'll get to see the detailed information within each record. Again, if we go back to our results, 
I wanted to show just a couple of additional features. So once we performed our search, there's also a couple of things that we can do with our lists. We can go through and individually select items that we think are of interest by clicking this add to selection. And you can see that we've now highlighted this tab, selected records with the number two. So we can go through and manually select records. We can also come to this section over here and select all records. Once we've selected records, we can print, we can download, and we can also do those same functions if we go into our selected records. We can print, we can download, we can also email them to ourselves or possibly to the Yolo County Archives so that we can have a head start on our search when we come in in person. Once we're in the selected records function, we can still come through and look at our list of records and remove records as we go. Thank you for watching this video. If you would like to learn more about the Yolo County Archives or Historical Collection, please visit our websites or reach out to us via email or phone.